y'all welcome back to homemade simple if we haven't met before i'm Lori. i love to share videos each week about homemaking and frugal living and i'm really glad that you're here today recently i have been sharing videos all about budget friendly meals and how to really decrease our grocery budget week by week and i know that those videos show a lot of meals that can really be restrictive and not allow for a lot of extra or a lot of fluff in a weekly diet. So that's what brings us to this week's video. Today I want to share some ideas about creating and building a pantry so that you can have plenty of options even when your weekly grocery trips are at a minimum. You still have a lot of options and many opportunities to create really good and filling foods to fill those nutritional gaps that might be there whenever your budget is really thin. First of all, I need to say I know that a lot of you are further along on your homemaking journey than I am and you have a lot of tips and tricks to help me and the other viewers. If you are a seasoned homemaker and you have tips about how to create a substantial pantry on a budget, I would love for you to leave those comments and tips down below. That's what I really hope to do in this channel is to create a community of homemakers helping one another to learn as we go. That being said, there are a couple of things that everybody is going to need in order to have a well-stocked pantry. Those are going to be the things that we're going to start with and then as we go along we're going to be able to build a pantry that that really fits the needs for our individual family. When you think about starting a pantry from scratch, there are certain staple items that everybody is going to need that are really the building blocks for any recipe or meal that you're going to create for your family. Flour, sugar, salt, pepper, other spices and seasonings that are really integral for a good, healthy, well-balanced diet. Also, oils like olive oil or coconut oil are really helpful to have around. Pasta, rice, these are carbohydrates that a lot of people shy away from, but these are going to be building blocks for frugal and budget-friendly meals that will be sustaining throughout several hours of our busy days, but also will give our meals sort of a base to build on. So you don't have to fill your casserole dish with chicken or beef. You can fill your casserole dish with these carbohydrates like pasta and rice and then build on top of them and add less of the more expensive ingredients. You'll also want to have certain canned items. Most importantly, things like tomato paste, diced tomatoes, and also dried beans. Dried beans are an excellent source of energy and protein at a very, very minimal cost. So these are some items that when you go to the store, you'll be able to pick up and set up a really substantial and beneficial pantry, even when you don't have a lot of money to spare in the budget. I've learned that by cooking from scratch, you can really save a lot of money and reduce a lot of the filler ingredients that are not beneficial to our diets at all. So if you add items like baking powder, baking soda, brown sugar, corn starch, corn syrup, dry milk powder. Having these kinds of items in your pantry is going to allow you to reduce the amount of processed foods that you have to purchase 
which are bought at a premium price but are void of a lot of the nutrients that we can add if we make these items from scratch. While a lot of people may shy away from canned vegetables, I find them to be very nutritious and also super easy whenever you're trying to throw a meal together in minimal time. You can be selective on the items that are best for your family and buying canned vegetables sometimes really is the best option. It's cheap and affordable but also gives your family the nutritious produce that they need that can last even when the fresh produce that you might spend your money on will, will deteriorate and go bad. So adding some canned vegetables to your pantry is really going to help you in creating a quick and fast nutritious meal for your family on a budget. Things like green beans or corn, canned fruits, these are the things that I choose to add to my pantry in order to help me when creating a budget friendly but also time friendly meal. And then finally, when you are building your pantry, you're going to want to have fresh options as well. Things that will not go bad quickly but will really add a lot of flavor and nutrition to your meals throughout the month. So things like potatoes, onions, these items will last a long time. Even if you buy them at the beginning of the month, they should be able to last well throughout the month and give you a base and substance for your meals as you bake and cook at home. I've tried to do a little bit of research to try to help in figuring out where the best places to go would be whenever we are starting out to begin to build our pantry. I checked out Dollar Tree and I found out that although everything is $1.25, the package options there at the Dollar Tree really are so small that it is not worth going there to start stocking your pantry with these staple items. So I think the best place for you to go would be your local grocery store, Walmart, Aldi, Kroger, places like that that would have these staple items at a reasonable price. So when you're building your pantry, the best places to go would be places that you're going already anyway. And that brings me to tips on how to Factor in some money each week for you to have the extra money to build this pantry to a place where you will have minimal items that you need to buy on a regular basis because you've already built up a backstock of the things that you really use and need on a weekly basis. In the past few weeks, I've tried to share videos that would help whenever we're in a pinch and we really don't have a lot of money to spend on our weekly grocery budget. Those weeks are going to come and they're going to be a part of our lives these low budget meals will really provide some extra cushion in your monthly budget to allow for these staple items to be accumulated throughout the months so whenever you are in a pinch and you have to use these very frugal meal plans stocking up your pantry throughout the weeks and months of the year will allow you to be able to pull from your inventory that you have been able to stock up at a more reasonable price instead of having to pay a more expensive price because you were only able to buy a small portion. I found several ways to stock up on these staple and necessary items without paying a high price for them. One thing that has allowed me to build up a stockpile of things like flour and sugar are to watch the sale circulars that come to my mailbox or in the newspaper every week and to find those items that I'm using on a regular basis and I know I'm going to need to add more to in my pantry, but I don't want to pay the really high price that normally is charged for those items. I know not everybody has the same opportunities and the same stores and sales available to them. But just as an example, I really like to use this flower. King Arthur flower is my favorite flower. It does the best on my sourdough and other baked goods 
whenever I am making those recipes, it just always seems to create a better end result. But if I was to go to Walmart or Publix and buy these items as I needed them, it would be really cost prohibitive. This flour costs double the price of what I normally would have to pay. So the way that I've gotten around that is to watch for my local Publix store to run a buy one get one free sale on King Arthur flour. I know that it's coming and I just keep scanning the weekly circular and eventually I find when it's going to be on sale and that is the week that I stock up on King Arthur flour. You can do the same for your favorite item. Check your local circulars even if you're not a regular customer of those more expensive stores. They will allow you to come in just buy the items that are on sale, check out, and leave. And you do not have to put any of their expensive items in your buggy. And that's where really limiting your weekly meal plan budget is going to come in handy. If every week your family can budget $150 or $200 for your groceries, but you can create a frugal meal plan and only spend 100 or 125 you can save that extra amount that you have set aside for groceries and be able to have a stockpile to pull from whenever you find these important staple items on sale whenever you come across them. So try not to spend every single penny of your grocery budget every week. Try to make sure that you're able to set aside at least 30 to $50 per month for these staple items to continue to build your pantry. Then whenever you are in a tight spot and you don't have the extra money to have a more expensive meal plan, you will still have nourishing filling meals available to you because you have prepared throughout the other months when things were not so tight. Everybody's pantry is going to look different. My pantry is going to have things that are completely different from my neighbor's pantry. But the most important thing is I stock my pantry with the things that I actually need and use. Just because you find something on sale at Publix, Walmart, or Aldi does not mean that it needs to go in your pantry. If it's some weird, obscure thing that you do not even know how to use, pass that item up and save that money for something that you really can use in your weekly meal planning. So, for instance, I don't use sun-dried tomatoes. I wouldn't even know how to use them if I did have a jar. Maybe one day I'll learn. But I don't use sun-dried tomatoes on a regular basis, so they are not in my pantry. If I found them in the clearance section of my local grocery store, I would probably pass them up because I don't know how to use them and it would just take up space that's very valuable for other things that I really can use and need on a weekly basis. But if I was to find pasta on sale, like I did recently at Walmart, I would stock up and I did because I use pasta all the time to create nutritious meals for my family. I know how to use pasta and I do use it on a regular basis. So when I found it at a rock bottom price, I made sure to put plenty in my buggy so that I would be able to stockpile that for the months to come. Am I going to need 20 packages of pasta this month? Well, no, probably not. But throughout the year, I will use every single bit of that pasta that I bought, and it's going to save me in the long run. So just because something is inexpensive and is on clearance doesn't mean it's perfect for your pantry. But if something that you do use on a regular basis is on a substantial sale, or is on clearance, pick it up and put it in your pantry for long-term storage. You're going to really thank yourself later. And my last tip is start today by cleaning out your pantry. This is a perfect time. So spending some time to organize and clean out your pantry is a perfect way to spend this weekend. If you can go to the Dollar Tree and get a couple of inexpensive baskets that will allow your pantry to be organized and stay neat, that will really go a long way in building your pantry to be more user friendly. I have several of these storage containers. They all came from Dollar Tree and they all really help when my family is searching for something for them to know which storage bin to look into and which storage bin the item goes back into whenever they're done. Condiments, snack items, baking goods, nuts, 
bread. These are the categories that I chose whenever I was building my pantry bins and they really have worked out well. I also in the bottom have a place for fruits and vegetables that will stay fresh and not go bad quickly even if I don't store them in the refrigerator. Preparing and stocking up on your pantry is an important task that's not going to happen overnight. If you are just starting out and you don't have any extras in your pantry, it's okay. Just begin today allowing for a little bit of extra in each week's budget and in no time you will have a surplus that you can pull from to create tons of healthy, nourishing, and delicious meals. It all starts with a little bit of planning and preparation at the beginning so that you know where you're going and you know how to get there. I hope these simple tips and tricks will help you when you're creating your pantry for your family. And I hope that if you have some tips, you will be willing to share those with us in the comments below. I'll be sure to read each and every one of those and I'm sure the other viewers will love to hear from you as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope that you will do that today and if you have any ideas for future content I hope that you will let me know that in the comments below I really appreciate you being here I love you I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again next time